Good evening everyone, my name is Mike, welcome to Porsche Centre Sheffield here in the UK um, and welcome to our weekly interactive walk around feature. Um, tonight we will be talking about this um, quite stunning Panamera 4S diesel uh, that we have in the showroom here. This is one of our approved used cars and we're going to be walking around the exterior, talking you through the interior um, and um, and yeah, and answering any questions that you may have. So if you've got any questions, please, please feel free to ask and we'll, uh, we'll endeavor to ask as many, uh, answer as many as we can. Uh, but before we start talking about this superb vehicle, uh, let me just show you around our uh, showroom and, and let you see what we're having at the moment. So at the moment we've got this, we've got a bit of color in it at the moment. So we have this Miami blue 718 Boxster uh, with the satin platinum wheels. And um, this vehicle is very, very special. Uh, it is a Macan GTS, so it's got the 3 litre twin turbo V6, 360 horsepower, and as you can see, it is in a very special colour, and this colour is Giza Grey, which is taken from the 911 50th anniversary edition. Uh, so it's a colour to sample, this colour is approximately £3,600 uh, to spec it, um, but as you can see, it, it does look I, I personally think it looks stunning and it has grown on me. When it first arrived on the transporter we were a bit unsure but when we've taken off all the, uh, the plastic coatings and the uh, protective film and everything else off the wheels and everything it, it just um, it, and we've had it valeted it looks absolutely stunning so and it's actually sold. Uh, it had been in the showroom less than I think 24 hours um, and one of our valued customers has uh, she took one look at it and uh, decided to buy it. So it won't be in the showroom much longer. Uh, we have another Macan in white, uh, Carrara white metallic. Uh, we have a Boxster S in Guards Red, very classic Porsche colour. And at the end of the line, we have a 718 Cayman, a standard Cayman in um, crayon, another uh, quite individual colour. Uh, this one's got the sport design pack on it. We've got a, a video of this vehicle on our YouTube channel. So if you want to see more uh, about the options and the spec on this vehicle, then uh, log on to our YouTube channel and have a look at that. Front and centre we have a used, one of our approved used vehicles. This is a, a, a 911 991 GT3 RS in lava orange. Uh, this is a centrepiece at the moment, always gets a lot of uh, admiring glances, hence why we've put it in front of the, uh, the main road. So as you can see, it's got all the, uh, the standard GT3 RS um, spec, the bucket seats, uh, carbon fibre shelled seats, roll cage, uh, Schroth uh, harnesses. Absolutely um, spectacular. Fantastic vehicles. And we've just uh, this week seen some uh, possible spy shots and renderings of the brand new GT3 RS that will be coming out, um, I think, next year. Uh, so they've just been released online, nothing confirmed yet. Uh, and then we have a couple of new shape Panameras. Uh, so we have a 4S petrol in black and uh, the GT Silver one is a hybrid. Um, hybrids are proven to be very, very popular, especially for company owners. So that's the GT Silver. Let's go back to the Rhodium Silver approved used 4S diesel. Uh, now I'm very excited to be talking about um, this Panamera this evening um, because Panameras, uh, in particularly for me, um, I just think Panameras are phenomenal cars. I think they're absolutely amazing. Uh, the first generation Panamera was a little bit quirky, a little bit different. Um, and then they've obviously uh, changed the whole design, exterior and interior on the, on the new shape Panamera. Um, as you can see, this one's got the 911 turbo design wheels. Um, and as you can see it's in rhodium silver metallic and as you, um, we'll go around the back um, and if we just blip the lights you can see the light strip uh, that extends the full width of the car at the rear this being the 4s diesel means it's got the 4 litre v8 twin turbo diesel engine it produces 422 horsepower 850 newton meters of torque um, it has four-wheel drive. This vehicle in particular has four-wheel steer as well, so the rear axle steer, uh, which means that at slow speeds, the rear wheels 
point in the opposite direction to the front wheels to aid with manoeuvrability, which means that the, the turning circle is unbelievably good on, on a car so, so big. Um, but the rear wheels point in the same direction as the fronts at high speed to aid with stability, high speed stability. So that's quite unique uh, and a really, really good feature on this car. Um, so this vehicle has the privacy glass, it has the high gloss uh, surrounds around the windows that you can see. Uh, so let's have a look inside the vehicle. I have the keys with me this week. I'll try and keep slip ups to a minimum. Uh, so this vehicle was one of our demonstrators was one of our demonstrators on our demonstration fleet so it has got a whole host of extras on it um, as you can see it's got sport chrono pack which um, gives you a, a g-force meter a lap timer with faster slap recordings and um, it also gives you an analog um, an analog clock um, and digital clock in the center of the dashboard and it gives you this fancy little dial on the steering wheel which you can um, tailor the engine mapping and the gearbox and everything um, to sport, sport plus and individual mode and then you've also got the sport response button uh, which gives you a, a, a 20 second timer, it basically primes the vehicle's drivetrain to give you everything the vehicle's got um, so that you can overtake cars you know really quickly. Uh, so this has got the multifunction steering wheel, it's obviously PDK. Um, and it has the uh, paddles behind the steering wheel. But um, an introduction to the new Panamera is the, uh, the, like the floating dash design, the smooth dash, dash finish and the centre console. So you now you don't have any separate buttons for each feature. Um, so if you want to alter the suspension, you just press that button. So it's essentially the whole panel will move. Um, and again, heated seats. This vehicle's got heated front and rear seats. And again, with the new Panamera, you have the 12 inch um, screen in the middle of the dashboard and everything is touch control, touch sensitive. So you've got the uh, satellite navigation map. And again, this is just like you would with a, a tablet. Everything is uh, swipe or pinch for zoom in and out. Um, it gives you traffic response. You've got your phone, uh, data, media, what, uh, whichever media that you're on. You can alter in this screen um, the vehicle mapping. So you can have normal sport, sport plus because it's got the sport chrono pack. You can alter the suspension. So at the moment we're in the suspension's lowest setting, but you can alter the ride height. You can increase the rear spoiler and you can turn off the uh, start stop mechanism there. Again, you can alter the climate control settings, uh, front and rear. Um, going to the vehicle settings and all the various displays that you can have on offer um, and this vehicle has the apps it's not displaying them at the moment because it hasn't been activated but you can have access to apps um, world news twitter feed uh, you can book flights um, if you have a flight number already so you've, you've booked a flight already and you've got a flight number you can put your flight number into the pcm screen and the pcm screen will tell you whether your flight is delayed or whether it's on time um, so you can adjust your journey accordingly and the same with trains you can uh, book train tickets um, so that's uh, this is a real game changer for Porsche this is um, taken as a, a huge leap forwards with regards to technology um, you will always have a, a analog rev gauge uh, but the other gauges on the Panamera either side are um, digital and fully adjustable as well this vehicle interestingly enough has night vision as an optional extra so I don't know whether you can see it whether you can get a good um, picture of it there but using this little toggle you can have night vision so um, it will pick up heat signatures of cars in front it will pick up um, things uh, at the side of the road that the even the LED lights can't um, can't decipher I'll just have a, a walk around and see if you can see me you might need to Press that. See if you can see me through the heat signature. Can you pick me up? Have you got me there? Yeah, you can pick me up there. 
So it's interesting when you're following somebody in a car and you can see the exhaust that is, um, you know, red hot. Um, so it, like I say, it picks up heat signatures and it, and it picks up other things at night. It's a really cool feature, uh, really good safety feature as well. Um, this vehicle has the speed limit display, which tells you whatever road that you're traveling on, um, you, you know automatically what uh, the speed limit is on that road. Um, and again, a really good safety feature because I would not like to be driving such a cool car like this and then get caught speeding, have my license taken off me. Um, this has the rear seat entertainment, so you've got heated rear seats. Um, you've got you, you can change all the climate control settings in the vehicle so there's four zone climate control in this in this particular vehicle um, you can alter the the vent settings you can also um, you can alter the media settings from the rear seats so you can change what radio station that you're on or you can activate your Bluetooth from the rear seats and connect your phone to it and your music or whatever will come through the through the speakers even though you're in the rear seat so it, it's fully accessible from from the rear as well and you can also um, alter the navigation settings uh, so if you uh, decide that you want to go somewhere different and you're in the rear seat um, and the driver doesn't want to be messing about with the satellite navigation from the driver's seat then the, the rear passenger can alter that there is a child lock on it uh, just in case some of you are wondering that if you've got children in the back you don't want them to be messing about with the sat nav while you're driving so there is a child lock facility which is uh, necessary sometimes uh, we'll put the rear spoiler up just to let you have a look at the rear spoiler so if you guys want to go around and have a look at the rear of the car we will raise the rear spoiler for you so that should be going up now and then that should be going down now as well Go. And as you can see, the rear brake lights are the four dot lights that you can see there, um, which kind of mimic the front um, daytime running lights, the four dot lights, and that's taken from our motorsport department, where we have the uh, World Endurance cars that have the uh, LED four dot lights. Um, can maybe see them around the front. So yeah, this is the uh, Porsche Dynamic Light System, which. Um, brings with it the four dot uh, matrix beam LED headlights uh, and that's got anti-glare uh, for oncoming cars and also cornering headlights as well. Um, these LED lights are uh, nothing short of amazing, they offer uh, much brighter lights uh, without blinding other road users and they look really cool on the road as well. So this is, uh, like I said, this is one of our used vehicles, uh, it is a 66 plate registered November 2016. Uh, it's currently up for sale at £93,490 and for the performance that you get in the new Panameras, um, especially the diesel models with 850 newton meters of torque, um, four-wheel drive stability, four-wheel steer, you know these Panameras you are able to literally cross continents in these things, you're able to cross countries, they are so comfortable, they will seat four six-foot adults with ease um, they have a, a, a decent sized boot on them as well. Um, loads of room inside, very, very comfortable. Um, this vehicle has the 14-way uh, um, adjustable seats. It has the Bose surround sound system inside it. Um, really comfortable car, but yet really quick. Uh, the handling um, is absolutely brilliant on them. Uh, we get a, a, quite a few customers that um, want the feeling of a 911, they want the feeling of a sports car, but they want the practicality of a four-door saloon or four-door hatchback with a decent sized boot. Um, and they will, you know, trade in their 911s and buy a Panamera. Um, We've got a question about the seating capacity. Okay, seating capacity. Okay, yeah, let's have a look. So in the standard Panamera, um, you have four seats, not five seats, just the four seats. Um, so four individually sculpted um, seats really really comfortable uh, quite a lot of headroom in these vehicles because it's only got four seats uh, Porsche have been able to mount the actual seat bases a little bit lower than your regular uh, four-door saloon four-door hatchback 
Um, so you have got quite a lot of um, headroom and legroom in, in these vehicles. You can have the executive version of the Panamera, which adds quite a few inches to the wheelbase, to the overall length of the vehicle, um, and that adds inches to rear passenger legroom as well. Um, so there we have it. The, the, there's rumour that there may be a, 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 a three-seat bench coming out in the future from, uh, for the standard Panamera. Um, at the moment, the Panamera ST, which is the shooting brake design, which is kind of like an estate, a sporty estate version, um, that comes with uh, three rear seats as standard, with the option of removing them to have just the two rear seats like the standard Panamera. But at the moment, the standard Panamera has four individual seats. Uh, so, good question. It's a question we get quite a lot, really. Um, so, uh, that is the end of our weekly walk around interactive presentation. Um, hope you've liked it. I absolutely love Panameras. Uh, can't talk highly enough of them. Uh, this one is for sale at the moment. If you are interested in it or any of our other vehicles used or new, please feel free to get in touch with us. Our contact number here is 0114 256 4455. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a look at our YouTube channel for various videos of other vehicles that we have. Um, but yeah, really uh, hope you've liked it. Uh, stay tuned next week for another walk around presentation. From all of us here at Porsche Centre Sheffield, take care, have a great night.